Hey guys, Trickshot here, and today I'm going to be showing you episode one of my series that's going to be covering a melodic dubstep track me from me making it from start to finish. Now in this song, it's a very chill melodic dubstep song that I don't think I've really covered on the channel yet, so um, I think it's a good opportunity for me to try and experiment with other things. Even so, this is the result that we're going to be making today. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to open up Labs and I'm going to get a nice guitar rhythm going. Uh, I'm going to be using MIDI for this mainly to speed it up because as you can see, it's already 11 p.m. at night and I got school tomorrow. So I just want to kind of go through this and just make a very simple guitar melody and then I'm going to use that to make a drop. So many. Oh, that's so pretty. It's a very, very condensed. I'm just going to start with this. This is very good. Let's just add this on the instruments. Let's check out the spectrum. A very, very mid-focused. Yeah, it's mainly... It's a little mono. It's not bad. But let's just kind of soften this up a bit. It's in the uh, key of D major. So I'm going to low cut this in the key of D major. Or D specifically. Let's put a stereo shaper on it. Kind of even it out on both sides. That sounds much better. Sounds very good. Be a reverb. Put another OTT on it. Mind up a little bit. Put a dimension expander. Stereo enhancer to finish it off. I'm gonna. Kind of clean it up a bit. It's very good so far. Let's find a nice chord progression that will kind of stick onto that. That may work. I'm not sure. Let's just let's do it. Let's actually um, put some effects on this, and I'm just going to be showing you a very simple uh, effect rack to kind of get you that nice Illinium style, that Illinium style uh, drum or guitar. Uh, first reverb, um, low cut, DK. Make it wet. Delay bank. Uh, let's put L1 four. We'll see how that sounds. Ping pong. This is the important part. Downward a little bit and then depth at 40%. Okay. That's gonna make a 
very wet and melodic. <laughs> sound too good so I'm just gonna scrap it for now but I say we take this um, chord progression and how about we make uh, start making the drum let's let let's have this one let's have this one layered I don't want I want Only with that little click. Like that. It looks like I'm making my own fucking... I had a loop, which I didn't want to do because I'm lazy. This is actually fucking insane. Why did I do this? Um, okay, well, let's put kick here, kick here, boom, pew, boom, pew. I think I can do this. And do this. I think I can just link all these to the same one, scoot these over by one, and let's make this This is where I'm going to be um, doing all my mixing and EQing on these symbols all at once. So I'm going to lower the volume of it. Barta sent Bart symbols. Um, D. That's a bit too high. Five hundred. Sub possible. I think I'm doing a group. Yeah, it's much, much beefy. Uh, transient processor. Increase that transient a bit, and same with this. I'm going to lower the volume. Transient processing. I'm going to dip this down a little bit. I want a little bit of bass.
clean drums. Okay, let's make a lead first. <laughs> Square, <laughs> square, square. Weird, 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 bonk. Okay, now that we have that done, we can start making these chords. Alright, so let's fix up these chords a bit and kind of make them a bit fancier. Let's put this as the G. So, so the first thing I'm actually going to be doing is putting this root note A. That's a big difference in chord structure. That's gonna make a big difference when we actually make the saws. So I'm gonna make three different layers of saws. I'm gonna make one that's uh, just a generic saw. I'm gonna make maybe a super square and then maybe something else. So let's do this. I'm gonna add a automation kind of that's gonna be shutting it off blah, blah, blah all that good stuff um volume i'm gonna put it at 100 just because why not Okay. 
Oh, that's actually a fucking fire pattern. What if I kind of switch this off a bit earlier? Like. I'm just I'm just kind of playing around with things and I still love it. That sounds like a pretty good pattern. All right, let's add another layer onto this saw now. So let's just fucking copy and paste, kind of, and let's make a super square. So I'm kind of just gonna solo this. <laughs> to be using a white noise which you can just do with this blah blah so now just straight white noise fuck i locked it I have to do that for all of them. Cool. And movies over again. Uh, put all of these to one saw group. And what we're gonna do first of all, we are going to just EQ everything low out of this. Um, not that low, but maybe, maybe like right at the sub. Is that a reverb just a bit? That sounds pretty good, to be honest. So I think I have, I'm gonna make a, I don't really know what I'm gonna make. Maybe I'll use a, Maybe a saw, maybe a gritty sub bass. Let's just use this default. Peace.
going to make this extremely clean. I'm going to put um, this at around 30 lowest and put this at 70 and that should make it very clean. Sounds amazing so far. Let's make a gritty sub base. So I think one way we can do this is uh, without using, I'm trying not to really use wavetables. Um, grab this thing here and just do this. I mean, you can probably. I F in this. That's what it doesn't sound bad. I'm gonna have to. Definitely gonna have to EQ out a lot of that highs. A lot of those highs. All I wanna do is isolate those bass frequencies. Like those actual bass frequencies. low mids too, might as well. Okay, well, um, I'm not exactly sure what I can do now. Maybe I can add the vocal chop and see how that works. It needs to be way, way louder. Funny thing is, I haven't even added the sidechain channel yet, so I should probably do that. Um, I have everything go to the sidechain channel. Let's make a little automation clip for that. Um, balance.
Do that. Oh, that's. Wonder if I can make this sharper. Oh, dude, this is this is good. Oh my god. Oh, oh wow. That's like actually mad good. <laughs> um, I think that's an incredible stopping time. That's that's pretty good. That's probably my best melodic um like dubstep song I've ever made, and I'm really hyped about it. Next part of this video will be solely on the build up, so make sure you stay tuned for that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like the video. Uh, and you like the music that I was putting out during this then please go ahead and subscribe uh, We just hit 2,000 subs and I'm so hyped about it um, Anyway yet again, thank you for watching so much. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye